Okay, let's start with this transistor radio tester uh, made by SICO, Psycho, a Model 88 Superior Instruments Company. It's a Model 88, and uh, basically what it is, it's a uh, it's an audio tone generator and a transistor checker, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, I just want to show you a few things there. Uh, this is the attenuator. You turn that up or down. It'll make a, the little speaker over here uh, louder. Uh, the meter is nice and it works, but we're not going to be using it. This is the um, signal output. Uh, it uses RCA plug. And it has a uh, bunch of different leads here, which is quite interesting. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're all for and what they all do. Well, I, there is an instruction book, and I have the cover for this thing. This is a little portable thing a guy would take out in the field with him and, uh, and run diagnostics. But uh, there's this black one that uh, the instructions tell you what they're all for, but I don't have them memorized. But... Uh, Anyway, right now, uh, we have one that's a radio lead in it. It's about a two and a half foot uh, thing, and it's got a ground uh, alligator and a regular alligator here. I guess that would be the center conductor on this uh, coax, this RCA coax. And I'm going to plug it into the signal output like that, and then that leaves it the uh, two ends loose and uh, and I'm going to uh, I've got this uh, 10x uh, probe on my oscilloscope plugged in in channel one and I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, put the center lead on that pickup there on that uh, probe tip and put the grounds together and now uh, we'll stop here so I can move the camera and we'll get us uh, a different view of the oscilloscope okay uh, we're continuing on here uh, get the light off the glare off the screen there okay this is the uh, this is a Tektronix uh, see we lost focus here uh, this is a Tektronix 2247A 100 millihertz oscilloscope with a counter and a timer embedded in it, which I'm not going to use right at the moment because I don't know no enough about it. But anyway, previously we, we hooked up the lead from this uh, signal generator and uh, uh, to the probe, uh, and which which is on uh, channel one here. This uh, this probe is uh, connected here, and uh, goes to channel one. We're in DC, and I've got the voltage division set for 10 millivolts, and uh, we're going to bump that up just for safety to the machine here, and. Uh, make it the maximum five volts and then the time is set for uh, two uh, megaseconds uh, uh, milliseconds we can that's right here we can leave that alone uh, a B select is set for auto level vertical is channel one and then we're on DC and that's basically all the settings and uh, back here okay I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to turn on the juice and it's a little uh, it's three one and a half volt battery it uses uh, four and a half volts power for this thing so it's low power I'm going to turn it on and uh, I'm going to turn the voltage up a little bit uh, of the attenuator up to about 10% out of uh, 100 and uh, I'm going to turn the voltage down 
until we start seeing so okay now here we're seeing a pattern let's turn don't know if that helps or not okay I'm going to turn the voltage down point uh, this is 50 millivolts now you can you can start to see the pattern here okay I don't know if the camera's picking it up okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop and turn it to macro